Hey y'all, just wanted to provide a quick update actually today on some bugs I noticed in my garden. But I'll show you real fast. I went ahead and found the bugs because I harvested a little bit more lettuce and some chard over here. And then I also came over here to my bed and harvested out some of my spinach. So one thing I always do when I'm in the garden is I look at the back of my leaves of my plants. Uh, anything that's a leafy green and also my tomato plants. I look underneath the leaves for aphids because that's where the bugs like to hide. So I noticed on my chard and also on my spinach plants that I was getting these little white rice looking eggs. And those are the eggs of a leaf miner. And what they will do is they will burrow inside of the leaf and leave a trail as they form worms or maggots and they'll eat the tissue of the leaf which can damage your plant. I did a search for this online just to kind of get some info, but last season I had bought this Good Bug, Bad Bug book, and it also talks about leaf miners and what you can do for them, which is really helpful. Some people say insecticidal soaps um, you can spray on them. What I like to do anytime I find bugs like that is I like to just go here to the back of the leaf and just rub it off with my thumb. Uh, you can see right there, I just rub them off, and then I'll mash them up and kill them. So if you have any little bitty white rice looking eggs on the back of your leaves, and it's always typically in the springtime, you need to be checking for them every single day and killing the ones by hand that you can kill. Or if you prefer to use insecticides, you can do that. I try not to use insecticides, especially non-organic ones as much as possible. I am a fan of Bacillus thuringicide, the BT spray. And you can check out um, narrowliving.com for a blog post on that. And that stuff is extremely effective, especially on cabbage plants and especially on other type of brassia plants like broccoli and cabbage and uh, Brussels sprouts, things like that. Anyhow, let me know if you have questions on it. I'll keep you updated if these guys take over the garden and just start to ravage my uh, spinach or if they come over here and really start to damage my Swiss chard because... I noticed them on my chard as well. I don't see them on this particular chard plant, but these developed ones, they were all over it whenever I harvested it. So I killed them and I'm getting ready to chop it up for salad anyway. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up the video, share it online if you have uh, other people who are interested in backyard gardening or uh, narrow living lifestyle. Thanks.